Science fiction frequently uses the terms electric propulsion and ion drive. We see them in Star Wars, Star Trek, and others. But unlike many science fiction technologies, these are already here, and they are about to make some major changes to how we explore the solar system. Electric propulsion is a method of propelling spacecraft using electricity instead of a chemical reaction to accelerate. This is the principle behind all three main types of electric drive. More on this in a minute. Electric propulsion is a particularly enticing option because of its efficiency. Unlike a chemically propelled spacecraft, which tends to have a high thrust but low specific impulse, an electrically propelled one would have a low thrust but a high specific impulse. In plain English, this means that a chemically propelled spacecraft is like a sprinter. It can accelerate very quickly for a brief period of time. The electric spacecraft, on the other hand, is more like a long-distance runner. It accelerates very slowly, however continues to accelerate for a very long time. Electric propulsion has many designs, though all work on the same principle. We will now examine the three main types. Electrostatic propulsion was the very first of its kind. The drive works by using electrons represented in green to ionize propellant represented in blue. This creates a plasma, which is represented in purple. The plasma is then held in place by magnets and accelerated out using two grids, one with a positive and one with a negative charge. Finally, electrons are inserted into the exhaust to prevent the ship from gaining a negative charge. This method of propulsion has been highly successful in deep space probes such as the Japanese Hayabusa, the European Rosetta, and the American Dawn. Next up are electrothermal drives. These are the most analogous to a conventional rocket. The drive works by accelerating gas into a reaction chamber where electricity heats it to the state of plasma. Magnets then accelerate the plasma out to propel the ship forward. Electrothermal drives are most often used as maneuvering engines for weather satellites such as the Lockheed Martin A2100 and the Russian Meteor 3 series. Last but not least are electromagnetic drives. These drives use radio or microwaves to heat the gas into a plasma, and then a superconductor to accelerate it out. One proposed use for an electromagnetic drive is a booster on the International Space Station. This would allow the station to boost without the need for constant resupply flights. Electric drives are very advantageous for many reasons. However, they suffer a few drawbacks as well. First, they still need a chemical rocket to get them into orbit due to their low thrust. Second, without nuclear power, the trip to Mars can take months. This means that astronauts will have to endure prolonged levels of high radiation, which can be detrimental to their health. Electric drives are already commonplace on spacecraft. Over 20% of satellites in orbit right now use electric propulsion for orbital maneuvers. More interesting, however, are future manned missions to Mars, currently under development. A solar, or possibly nuclear, electric craft will eventually take humans to the Red Planet. Advances in electric propulsion could be the key to opening the entire solar system to manned exploration and even colonization. The technology is almost ready. Are you?